Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6 Unit 1 Lesson 11 Practice Problems Review is on polygons. And in question 1, we're going to select all these that are polygons. Well, A is made up of line segments that's closed, so A, you got it. B, I'm sorry it's not meant to be because we have these curved sides, so B, you're not right. C, you are a shining star because you have all line segments and it's closed with no overlaps, so C is an answer. D, I'm sorry, there's just a gap in your story. It's not going to work out because you can't have gaps. E, as much as I love you, you don't have any line segments, so you can't be it. And F, I mean, you're kind of popping out at me here, but you can't be right either because you're not two-dimensional. And question two, mark each vertex with a large dot. Let's do that first. I'm going to count these while we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve vertices here. Edges, spoiler alert, it's going to be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve edges, twelve vertices. Moving on to the next question. Find the area of this trapezoid, explain, or show your strategy. What if I take a triangle here? Right now, this triangle is three with the height of three and a base of two. What if I move that out here? So I have a base of two and a height of three. All of a sudden now, as I shade this in, I have a rectangle that has a base of six and a, well, height of three. And so area is equal to length times width. And so six times three is going to be 18 square units. Question four. Lynn and Andre use different methods to find the area of a regular hexagon with six inch sides. Lynn decomposed the hexagon into six identical equilateral triangles. And you can see that here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Andre decomposed the hexagon into a rectangle and two triangles. Find the area of each hexagon or of the hexagon using each person's method and show your reasoning. So we've got to do each of these. Six triangles, let's just find the area of one of them. You've got a base here of six and a height you've got to figure out. When I come across here, well, half a ten and four tenths is five and two tenths. So that means I have a height here of 5 and 2 tenths inches. Well, area for a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. And so, base is 6, height of 5 and 2 tenths divided by 2. 6 times 5 and 2 tenths is 31 and 2 tenths, and we'll divide that by 2 and get 15 and 6 tenths. Now, that's one of the six triangles. Once I multiply by six, I get 93 and six tenths square inches for the area of that hexagon, because it's made up of those six triangles. What about Andre? Well, for Andre, in his triangle here, we're going to have a height of three and the base is 10 and 4 tenths. And so area is equal to base times height divided by two. Well, with the base of 10 and 4 tenths, and a height of 3, we'll divide that by 2, and get 31 and 2 tenths divided by 2. That looks really familiar. Once I get that, I get 15 and 6 tenths, but this time I'm going to multiply by 2 since there's two triangles, and that ends up with 31 and 2 tenths for those two triangles. Now the rectangle area is equal to length times width, 6 and 10 and 4 tenths, so that's going to be 10 and 4 tenths times 6, which is 62 and 4 tenths. Well, if I add 31 and 2 tenths to 62 and 4 tenths, you know what we get? 93 and 6 tenths square inches. That should be that way, right? There are the same hexagon, two different methods, but we get the same solution.
Question five, identify a base and a corresponding height that can be used to find the area of this triangle. Label the base B and the corresponding height H. Well, I like to count and use my base B here along the grid. Now, technically, this height can be measured in so that if I draw this across, my height really can be any line that connects the base there with um, the orange line at a right angle. Now, oftentimes it's easier just to kind of go straight through the middle here and call this the height. But in theory, you can call any of these the height because you'll get two no matter what. Your base here, if you were to count, is 11 and your height is equal to two. So when you go to find the area of this, you're equal to base times height divided by two. 11 times two divided by two. 22 divided by two is 11 square units. And as we get to this last question, on the grid, draw three different triangles with an area of eight square units. Label the base and the height of each triangle. It's my favorite question on the lesson. If I make a table here, base, height, area. Remember that area is equal to base times height divided by two for triangles. So if I just pick a number, I'm trying to get that eight square units, right? What if I did, I don't know, four times two? Four times two is eight divided by two is four. That's too small. But what if I double this four and I get eight times two? Eight times two is 16 divided by two is eight. So there's the possibility there. But what if I chose to double this two and went four times four? Four times four is 16 divided by two is eight. So there's some dimensions and of course we could do 16 and one because 16 times one is 16 divided by two is eight. And you could do two and eight or one and 16. There's a lot of different combinations here. But I wanna focus in on uh, this four by four because I can actually draw three different triangles using a base here of four. Now, for that height, what if, what if, what if, one, two, three, four. Draw this orange line in again. I could put the point anywhere along this line and connect it. What do I mean by that? Well, what if I draw it here? I could then connect this this way and have a height that's four and a base of four to get me an area of eight. Okay, what if I draw it in way down here? Well, when I connect these, I still have a height of four and a base of four. How neat is that? Now, what if I drew it here? I still have, as this gets a little bit confusing with all the pictures there, a base of four and a height of four. So there alone, I have three triangles with a base of four and a height of four that are different triangles with an area of eight square units. And again, you could do these as well, but I just wanted to do those instead. That's it for this grade six lesson. Let's see, what lesson are we on again? 11, unit one practice problems review on polygons. Good luck.